Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the most recent episode of the popular TLC reality series Sister Wives, Janelle Brown talked openly about her feelings for her estranged husband, Cody Brown. After a holiday argument, Janelle's desire for Cody made apparent during a recent episode. Fans were shocked when Janelle revealed her affections for Cody. We are extremely close friends, she declared. There are several chats between us. In my bed, I miss him. He is missed in my home. He is missed. But here, I don't feel like I'm getting the respect I deserve. In her confession, Janelle expresses a yearning for a deeper level of significance in her relationship with Cody. I miss you, honey, she exclaimed in one episode. I simply have no idea how to resolve this. You and I have a propensity for forgetting the difficult things when we return home. This time, I require something distinctive. Kobe said that Janelle had only experienced physical, not emotional, experiences. I suppose she finds me attractive. I have excellent abs and lovely pecs, but that's all she's interested in. These accusations were promptly denied by Janelle, who insisted that their union was based on much more than just lust. The ongoing conflict between Cody and Janelle reached a boiling point after a heated argument over Garrison and Gabriel disobeying Cody's COVID rules. Cody and Janelle parted ways to spend the 2022 winter holidays due to this argument. In December 2022, Janelle later admitted that they had been separated for a while. Janelle expressed her concern with Cody's treatment of their children during the most recent episode, in particular his lack of interaction with their youngest daughter, Savannah, since early December. I don't require much from him, she said, according to Today. But if he suddenly decides he doesn't want to be a father to my children because they disagree with him, it sort of alters the cost-benefit analysis for me in this marriage. The two met after that argument for the first time in six weeks in the episode, understatement of the year. Janelle clarified that she hadn't spoken to or visited Cody during this time, and that she wanted to find a suitable settlement before making amends. I've recognized this time is just not working for me anymore, she admits. I genuinely desire different treatment and more benefits from a partnership. Can we use ours to do that? Throwing away 30 years, or whatever, would be dumb, but I don't know. I'm just not sure if we can actually repair that. When the two finally got together for lunch, things were heated. Cody expressed regret for his behavior and claimed that his divorce from Christine had emotionally taxed him. While Janelle was not pleased with his response, she admonished him to separate your relationships like you have for our entire plural marriage and pay attention here. When asked if she still wanted to be apart from Cody, Janelle responded, I do think I want to stay separated for now. Cody expressed his amazement at this information, saying he had always thought their previous separations were brought on by arguments between the sister wives rather than their relationship. Fans have long wished to see Cody and his sister wives expand on their private property and coexist peacefully. Christine, Janelle, and Mary ultimately left the dynamics, shattering the patriarch's ideal as well as that of the audience. But when viewers realized that perhaps Cody never had a specific strategy for living on Coyote Pass, they were astonished. He recently admitted to some keen-eyed followers that constructing on the family's land was merely a pipe dream for him, and that he was possibly never truly convinced about the plan. Is this a fact? Was Cody's dream of constructing a home on the Coyote Pass property just a pipe dream? Sister Wives star Janelle Brown worked late into the night to save money for the construction of her dream home on the Coyote Pass property. She even started living in an RV since she was determined to stay near to her family. However, it appears that Cody never possessed the same zeal. Recently, some viewers noticed something shocking that seemed to point in the same direction. Soon, Cody just acknowledged it, appeared in a Reddit thread, maybe, inquired, pondering whether Cody's idea to construct the family property was nothing more than a pipe dream. According to the thread, Cody and Janelle sat down in a restaurant together and talked about the future. The former said, 
We have to house our children there for the next 15 years. During their chat, the OP was led to believe that the patriarch may not have ever had a firm plan for construction on the Coyote Pass site and that it may have only been a pipe dream. Someone said, I have a feeling they won't be in that house for the next 15 years. In addition, the fan said, once TLC cancels a show, I see poverty. I noticed that as well, a different person said, he has no desire to construct. Someone clarified that Cody didn't really want to live on Coyote Pass. Only Janelle did. Still owns $170,000 Coyote Pass property, Janelle Brown. Not Cody, did you sell it to? Christine Brown, a cast member of Sister Wives, was the first person to depart Cody and the shared property at Coyote Pass. She gave that to the latter for only $10 and retreated from the commotion. But it doesn't appear that Janelle is planning to follow in the footsteps of her best friend. She still hasn't given Cody her share of the family estate. Recently, some sources revealed that Janelle and her estranged husband's names are on Arizona Records, this demonstrates that Janelle still possesses the $170,000 Coyote Pass land and may not be willing to readily go with it. But it appears that Janelle would have found it difficult to continue managing the Coyote Pass property. She acknowledged being in a bind financially during season 18. The famous person sobbed bitterly as she described how she feels trapped with the Browns and depressed right now. Janelle disclosed that she is 50 years old and that all of her deeds are to family property. She acknowledged that she had no idea whether any of the Browns would support her in the circumstances and expressed surprise at how she had gotten herself in such a degrading circumstance. For all the most recent Sister Wives spoilers, keep checking back at TV season and spoilers. Sister Wives season 18 has become anchored by the heated argument between Cody Brown and his wife Janelle Brown. Longtime viewers, though, think that the polygamous patriarch might not understand the seriousness of his treatment of his third wife. Following the most recent episode of the show, viewers flopped to social media to complain that Cody is arrogant and clueless following a conversation with Janelle about their tumultuous relationship. Until a Christmas 2021, Cody and Janelle Brown got into a heated argument that lasted six weeks until they finally met for dinner at a nearby Flagstaff restaurant. Throughout the holiday season, the pair maintained their distance from one another until deciding to get together to talk about their relationship approximately two months later. Fans, however, thought Cody was clueless and arrogant when he talked about his thoughts on their altercation and his relationship with Janelle. Their comments were posted on Reddit. Cody's assertion that their past splits had nothing to do with him and were caused by issues Janelle experienced with her sister wives is completely irrational. How can someone be so conceited and stupid at the same time? One viewer wrote, The most outrageously narcissistic thing he has ever said on the show, according to another admirer, was declaring himself hot with a six-pack, when Cody stated in his confessional that Janelle wasn't in love with him, they answered, I suppose she finds me attractive. I have excellent abs and nice pecs, but that's all she's interested in. Cody enters and declares that he will stop getting angry since he's ashamed of his actions. A third Reddit user chimed on, Then when Janelle says she wants to stay apart, you see him puff up and get angry, mad that she still wants to leave, and starts to argue again. Cody Brown brought up the concept of plural monogamy during their conversation. Cody defines plural monogamy as a situation in which there are numerous families operating instead of just one. The phrase was defined by Cody. He asserts that it refers to a polygamist male whose sister wives' families are estranged from one another. Cody then refers to his third wife as a monogamist and asserts that all she wants is for him to spend time with her. He thinks that each of the sister wives wanted solely a relationship with him and not with each other, which is why their polygamous family broke up. Janelle responds, Cody brought up the word and plural monogamy, she says, he presents it as being my idea. Janelle Brown told Cody Brown throughout their talk that she preferred to keep her distance from him. She did, however, 
agree to visit a counselor in an effort to resolve their issues. Janelle stated in the episode, titled The Understatement of the Year, that she would be really, really willing to do some counseling if we can find someone. Cody overheard her saying, I just know that I need to be separate right now, you know. You know, I still care deeply about you. Yes, perhaps getting counseling would be beneficial. In a confessional recorded after the scene, Janelle claimed that Cody was missing the boat, since there is way more to a marriage than just physical attraction. She thought their union was bigly in danger. I don't really feel eager to continue dating Cody. I don't think I'm getting what I deserve from him, to be honest. Cody Brown and Christine Brown were separated spiritually during the time of season 18's filming. He continued to be physically married to Robin Brown and legally married to Janelle and Mary Brown. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.